Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Liver, and let's continue playing as the Russian SFSR. Yes, I am finally back from some sort of trip that I was forced to go on. Regardless, let's have a good time with each other since it's been a while since I've been here. Uh, right now, you're looking at me contribute to our current fleet uh, two super heavy battleships. I think. Yeah, super heavy battleship. Another super heavy battleship, and a couple light cruisers and a couple destroyers. Uh, obviously, you can tell most of these ships are hurt. Uh, do, don't do that. Just let them go ahead and repair a little bit since they were training ever since I left them there. So we get more naval XP. Obviously, I don't have a bunch of naval XP, but whatever. Uh, since the beginning of this, or since the end of last time, since we finished off Denmark, I eventually invaded Greenland. Uh, our guys are running out of fuel right now under Markion, but hopefully, we'll get Groenland. Uh, finished and conquered quickly soon quite quickly regardless. It's good to be back uh, Let's continue going ahead and Further the agenda of the proletariat right now. We are preparing ourselves for an invasion of What's that country? Yeah, Uruguay. I've actually looked up quite a bit of information about Uruguay, but regardless Let's go ahead and do this and you come down here uh, Let's see you need a portrait you are a destroyer which doesn't really matter so I'm not gonna do that you are three subs, which I'll throw you under here. M merge you with the not super great ships, but whatever. Under uh, Vladimir, who's skill four actually isn't bad. Uh, let's see, over here we have our not super great fleet already working in the waters of Guinea. Last time, it took me a while. I guess I raged a little bit, but it took a while for us to uh, get some soldiers ready to go. Let's see, do we have soldiers ready to go here? You guys are getting shipped out or something. I don't exactly remember. It's been a little bit since I have played this. So it looks like our soldiers are getting ready to go. Uh, you know what? I don't mind sending you as well over to here. So why am I invading Uruguay? That's a good question to ask. Mostly because it's a s s small South American country. That means once we have Uruguay, we can go to, straight to Argentina, to Chile, to Paraguay, to Brazil. So I don't have to invade Brazil because invading Brazil can be okay. But it can also suck a lot. But I really want them in my faction, if at all possible. Uh, if I have a border with them, they might join us, but probably not. They don't like us because they'd rather be part of the... A they would rather be part of the Allies. You're a communist. Much like us, but a different type of communist, apparently. Ah, I see. So they're really... Well, we... Followers of Stalin. They don't like Trotsky. They're followers of Stalin, those bastards. Anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna finish this up. Have our na help na help our... Use our Navy to invade South America... Do that, kill off a bunch of American ships, if at all possible, a bunch of allied ships, since the Americans still have over 100. And then once the American ships are mostly done, and all the enemy ships and the allies are done with as well, I will then turn my ship's attention around to Japan. I will make sure that we go from the Thai People's Republic, and hopefully invade... Ooh. Looks like some Guatemalan convoys. Interesting. Invade maybe the East Indies, but probably not. I would probably just go straight invade the Japanese home islands, just because, I mean, we have the... Koreans here. Also, I will actually, let's see. I don't want to forget someone was upset that I didn't have enough tanks on here so I'm going to raise this up to 75 in total. Just keep you happy. And right now, I will annex eventually, very soon actually, pretty soon, the Baltic Social Republic because I think it's already 1950. We, they've had more than enough time to become communist. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and have a good time with them and we'll all love each other so much. Whether they like it or not. So, we'll do that. I think I'm missing something. Oh, we lost two planes. Ah, the American fleet is up here. Well, so be it. Whatever. Just go ahead and destroy whatever is around here. It doesn't really matter to me. Oh, convoy sunk in exchange for a plane. Yeah, so be it. So, hope you guys have been having a good day. Uh, I guess I want to slightly apologize for technically yesterday's video. Since it was kind of ragey. I mean, at this point in the game, someone even commented that, yeah, invading America is going to suck so hard. But, I mean, it's kind of a necessary evil if you want to do world revolution. So, you know, whatever. We'll conquer the Americas in the end. And it looks like someone's invading me. And it looks like I want to conquer America, but America wants to conquer me. Pretty typical. Pretty darn typical. What type of planes do we have? Bombers, heavy bombers, which is really good. We have a crap ton of heavy fighters. I think we can stop making so many heavy fighters. Oh, uh, good. We have quite a few marine maritime patrol bombers. Great. Go ahead and do that. Oh, there is quite a fleet down here. Interesting. 
What is this? Why are you by yourself? Ah, oh, you're this group that's trying to repair and reinforce. Alright, so be it. So, let's go ahead and take... We got almost 20,000 heavy fighters. I love it, but I could use these factories somewhere else most likely. And reduces our need in rubber as well as aluminum. Take that down to about 90. I think 19,000 is a pretty decent number. I don't know about you, but... That nearly fits our need for modern tanks, so... Pretty good. Uh, let's see. We definitely want to make sure that we have at least good enough air coverage here. And when we annex the United ba the Baltic Socialist Republic, we'll definitely get quite a bit more manpower left. And I don't want these destroyers sunk, so let's get some some planes over here. Oh. And yeah, Japan. I'm sure Japan's had quite a bit of time to restore its navy and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, it's still got a bunch of ships. Not a ton of divisions still. And quite a bit of manpower, so... <clears throat> Go figure. Let's see. Some enemies there. Not, not taking anything over there. Lost something. Alright, so be it. <clears throat> Hope you guys had a good couple of days. I have, <clears throat> in my spare time... Actually, you know what? Before I get into that, let's get rid of an army. I don't think I need as many armies as before. I mean, for example, all these guys. I mean, I love them. I'm not sure what happened to my commander. But I love my armies and stuff. Uh, let's see. What about... You, where are you at? You're all over Europe. Honestly, you being in Europe isn't really helping anyone at all. So I'm going to move you down here. This will be the main army that invades uh, someplace. Why did my generals get taken off? That's a good question to ask. And my field marshal, too. Anyways, uh, what was I going to say? I mean, I have all these armies here, but I'm going to probably get rid of some of these guys and then actually go ahead and turn some of these guys into better mechanized or motorized infantry divisions. Where are y'all at? Uh, for example, here, I mean, for six armies, that's enough for the America's campaign, probably. You guys are all tanks. I'm not going to get rid of you. You are a couple of extra soldiers here and there that are good to have. Um, I'm not going to get rid of you guys yet. You, still, you guys still have some use. So I'm not going to get rid of you guys just yet. I'm not sure where to put you, but I'll leave you alone for now. We have some extra tank divisions up here, which are actually really just Marines, which is good. Asia? First of all, why are you... 24, 12. We could probably get rid of this army. And then Middle... Oh, technically, this is Middle East. But you're over there, starving for supplies. That's not good. Um, Wait, what are you doing? You guys are the ones who are going to invade. Hmm. Yeah, you need to stop starving so much. Stop starving. Do that. That'd be better. And then we have Japan. Well, for the Japanese, I think 60 divisions is more than enough. So I feel confident in that. Let's see. Ooh, do you need more better motorized, mechanized? No. Oh, better piercing and heart attack? Sure. So we could probably get rid of this division. I mean, these guys have done great. They've done really well. I'm mean, even at Mountaineers, but I don't think I need all the extra manpower, so let's get rid of those guys. Some people might be screaming at me right now, saying that, don't get rid of your divisions. You haven't won the war yet. I don't know. Maybe someone will say that. Maybe they won't. But I do want to turn my soldiers into at least motorized divisions. Nice. Better anti-air. Let's see. So this is the old 20 width that we used. Then we went to regular infantry, and then we went to thick, arty infantry. Actually, they don't even have... Someone's been messing with my game. I have motorized rocket artillery now. Maybe I was messing with it. Motorized rocket artillery. Rocket artillery. Mot oh god, that's a lot of motorized. Um, what happens if we change it to... Is that under... If we did motorized rocket artillery and took this off, we would only gain... 1.9 more hard soft attack and lose quite a bit. So that's not really worth it. Yeah, it's not really worth it. So, hmm. I'm just going to leave it alone for now. I'm not sure if I should change it or not yet. So, let's see what happens. You guys are patrolling. All of you guys do this instead. The one, oh, sounds like we're getting invaded somewhere. Not sure. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, an American heavy cruiser. Nice. Apparently, there's a lot of convoys around here. Alright then. 
Wait, what are you guys? Yeah, don't need to do that. You don't need to do that, guys. Greenland's looking great. And we're getting invaded in the old British Isles. Oh, literally the Isle of Man. Okay. Well, good luck, Mark Clark. You don't need that. Where is a port over here? Does Greenland, Greenland even have a port? Oh, it's over here. It's this little tile that we haven't gotten yet. All right, so be it, so be it. Uh, as we're waiting for our soldiers to get down there, I'm just going to keep looking around, see... Ah, another American heavy cruiser. Nice. Lost another plane, so be it. Planes are expendable compared to ships. Ah, Japanese destroyer. Japanese destroyer followed up with another Japanese destroyer. Very good. It seems to me that the Japanese, or not even the Japanese, but all of the enemies in the game, they generally don't make better and better ships. Like, they don't go from, like, carrier ship 2 to carrier ship 4, which doesn't make too much sense. Like, you would think you'd want your enemies to stay on top of naval tech, or at least ship design. So, yeah, it's kind of odd. Kind of sucks that the enemies don't... Oh, oh thank God we got more... more, uh... Troops here. Actually, do this. I don't want supplies coming through here. But, uh, I don't mind supplies coming through here, though. Awesome. We actually have air superiority now. Do that. Combine it with lots of... No radar. Okay, then. And then... That'd be good. As well as... Yeah, that's already pretty good. Cool. <clears throat> Get some planes over here. See what happens. And if we can bomb any enemy ships. Let's use 200 for now. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Convoy. Three convoys in exchange for three planes. Three more convoys in exchange in a convoy. And then uh, two destroyers from South Africa. Then three Swedish destroyers. Two Swedish destroyers. And the American Navy is definitely around here. But we've got to make sure we actually sink it. Even though we're losing planes, it looks like the USS Antietam is looking not very good. Awesome. And we have ah, two more Polish divisions. Oh, yeah, we're making Polish divisions. I forgot. We're replacing a lot of our own soldiers with Polish divisions so we can save a little bit on manpower as well. Eventually, Kirill here will have nothing but Polish and a few Russian soldiers within his army group. Love it. Ooh. Good, good. A couple of destroyers sunk. All right. Are all of our divisions ready to go? Good enough to go ahead at least. You guys are lacking a little bit of supply. I am a little worried about this. Do that. And do that. Uh, let's go ahead and try it, just because we can. So, let's see. Max Reuters, can you go? You just need to have better sea coverage. No one can get over here. Hmm. I might just have to invade Brazil instead. I might just have to invade them. I don't want to. They're Stalinists, so they're actually pretty evil. Brazil, before we do anything ra rash. 71% communists. Quite a few divisions, actually. That's not good. Uh, they have a lot of manpower. Uh, da -da -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a ding a 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 Alright, well, maybe I will invade Brazil instead, just because we cannot reach Uruguay. I really didn't think we would... Actually, if we really wanted to invade Uruguay, we just have to take these islands down here. But screw it. Let's go ahead and invade Brazil instead. So. U3. I don't want to invade Brazil, but it looks like I have to. Invade there. Make it a little slower so that eventually we can do whatever we need to do. You guys come from here. Invade that area. As long as we get one port, I think we should be able to hold everything pretty easily. Come from here. And then attack there. So then we really don't need nearly as many sea zones, which is pretty good. Pretty good, actually. Uh, where are you guys at? One, two, three. Go to here, Monrovia. And invade up here. Two, three. Invade from... Oh, actually, I need to do this sea zone as well, then. Well, if we have to do that sea zone anyways, we'll do that from here. And invade to there. And then one, two, three. Invade from here. And go to here. Should be better. A little better. Go ahead when you can. Let's go ahead and switch this up a little bit. Not you. Um, Not you and not you. Cool. Actually, that would help our invasion force quite a bit, actually. 
do up there, and then you guys don't have to do that one. Makes it easier. Yes, I am using a little bit more time up, but whatever. It gives us more time to strike enemy fleets. Ooh, quite a few Swedish ships died there. And there's a couple of Swedish ships. U.S. something. Light Cruiser was sunk. American Destroyer. Great. Lost two planes. Sunk an enemy convoy. Sunk an enemy convoy. Good, 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 good. Another U.S. convoy. Ooh. Swedish Destroyer. Ah, another... What type of tank is this? Is this a... This is a Marine tank. So for the Marines... You're right there. And this is probably another Marine tank. I think that's as much as we really need at the moment. I don't really need to make any more. As far as I know. So go ahead. I mean, eight divisions is pretty good. Put you on low. I'm going to keep making them, but not a really high priority for them. And we can make some motorized. We have some rocket... Motorized rocket artillery... Can we compare that with... Ah, uh, speed up time a little bit. Uh, with thick, arty infantry. No, we cannot. So this has 756 compared to... Uh, let's see. 66 organization. 56. Recon is 41 for the motorized. The regular infantry. 77 heart attack for motorized. 200 breakthrough. This has a little bit less breakthrough, but this definitely has more defense. 0% armor, of course. And then... Uh, definitely faster. Yeah. Piercing is 47. Hmm. I mean, it really doesn't matter to me too much. Maybe I'll just change them into mechanized screw. Going from soft infantry and just go straight to mechanized. That'd be actually kind of interesting. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. 50s. Get a better anti-air, I suppose. Oh, uh, we've been sinking a lot of things. Two more American light cruisers, but we lost quite a few planes, actually. Five British destroyers, eight French convoys. Good, 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 good. American destroyer, two American destroyers, two American ships, and then another American light cruiser. Greatness. Oh, wait. Uh, you guys actually probably will need more supplies than that. Going into Brazil. Yeah, you guys definitely need more supplies than what you already have. I mean, you're level one, and I already told you guys to go ahead and uh, become a little better. Oh, but look. Level two definitely helped us out here. So the supplies are doing much better over there. I've been feeling a little bit more confident about this. How long would it take for us to justify on a Brazil? Ten days. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and do that. Doesn't cost us very much. Very nice. Very, very nice. You guys hope you're doing okay. Go ahead and do Iberian Coast as well. So this way we have a complete... Ooh, more immigrants. Nice. A complete shield of subs protecting against enemy convoys. Oh, it looks like our allies are losing quite a few ships, but the enemies aren't leaving without any losses themselves. Five more British convoys. Great. Yeah, the Portuguese. Oh, well. We're here. These Germans are doing something. Medium caliber semi-armor. Piercing shell, awesome. Sub mine lang, I guess, guys. I'm running out of things to research, I suppose, because why not? Awesome. Are you guys pretty good to go? We can go to war with Brazil immediately. How are these guys looking? I want to wait until you, these guys are also okay, which shouldn't take too long, honestly. Shouldn't take too long. Eh, just a few more days for Saint Helena. That's good. But I do want to prepare ourselves for the coming invasion. You guys. Not too bad. I'm going to scrunch you guys up a little tighter when we launch the invasion so that our invasion goes smoothly. And, oh wow. Quite a few American bombers around here. Alright. Oh, we lost a sub. That's not good. Yeah, that's actually, that's quite a few subs. Uh, over here, let's go ahead and put some more planes down here. By quite a few more, I mean 800 more. That's quite a few, right? Well, that's a little bit at least. Do that. And... Want to get this stuff done to first. Good. Nice. That should help protect some of our subs, who are dying quite rapidly, actually. I think I've lost too many. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. I got 13 more subs to throw on, though, so that's great. We're repairing. You need to do... Convoy rating. Go ahead and combine both of you. Might make it a little easier. And... Nice, sunk 12 Canadian convoys. Great. American Light Cruiser. 
Sub and another sub lost. So be it. Whatever. Hmm. Better Marines. We can wait on that. X. 1948. That's the next year. Tanks. I'm not using tanks right now to invade, which I honestly probably should. But oh well. Eh, get more fuel, because why not? Awesome. Let's go ahead. I think we should be ready at this point to invade. Alright, Brazil. <clears throat> Your love of Stalin cannot exist. The invasion of Brasilia. And we've called our allies in, and the boys are off! Tarotsky speed, because we don't believe in God here. No God speed. But Tarotsky speed. Oh, it's like a Brazilian sub. Two Brazilian subs instead of our own. Which is kind of nice. And we do have quite a few good ships actually escorting these guys over. Hopefully we can win at least the first battle. God, we can take a lot of decisions here. Um, mm -hmm. I think we'll be okay. We are good on supplies, actually. We're importing oil. Eh, we'll do, keep doing that. Let's see. Oh my goodness, some more Brazilian con uh, subs, subs, two subs, a sub, three subs, wow. Oh, it's the Republican Spaniards that are just keep continually sinking those subs along with our naval bombers. Good. Unfortunately, we can't get over here with any air cover, which really sucks. Really, really sucks, but hopefully we can do at least okay around here. Now I shot down a Brazilian plane. Hopefully they don't have too many allies around here. And what other ships have we sunk? <clears throat> Three UK convoys, eight French convoys, American destroyer, a British, a Brazilian sub, another Brazilian sub, and then another Brazilian sub. We haven't found too much over here, though. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the Labrador Sea. All right. Oh, we have encountered some enemies. I uh, didn't want to click on you guys. I want to click on you guys. Uh, where are those Marines? I don't want to send all of my tanks this way just because it's not a good idea to send tanks to Brazil. But I don't mind sending these tanks to Brazil just because they have Marines on them. It won't be as bad if I send them over. So let's slowly start sending these guys back to Europe to get to Africa to get to South America. And we've already landed, if you couldn't tell earlier. Nice, nice. Very awesome. <clears throat> Go ahead. Do I have any spare army? I, didn't, I, was, I said I was going to scrunch you guys up, but uh, obviously that didn't happen. Go ahead and just all come here. Immediately spread out this way and begin building. Oh, it's a level one port. That's so bad. Oh, I can't even improve infrastructure. We're going to have to move quickly around here. Now I shot down 20 Brazilian planes. Nice. Oh, lots of Brazilian planes. Nice. And we are successfully beating back the Brazilians in most places, not all places. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of enemies here. Uh, I don't think we can actually win there. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna lose maybe a few divisions. But hopefully that won't happen. So, go ahead and do that. Since doing this, I'm gonna need a lot, a lot of, uh, ships. I'm gonna need a lot of planes. I'm gonna need a lot of... Supply, actually. That's what I wanted to say. Subs. Subs lost. Sub killed. Another sub killed. Three more convoy sunk. American destroyer. Two American destroyers. Another American destroyer. Great. Planes. 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 Awesome. Good job, guys. Uh, you guys are kind of stuck. So I'm going to get do this. Put you all right here. And do that. we build this area up? Not really that well. Go ahead and build this area up as well with ports. When you guys are good and ready, I will actually tell you guys to go ahead and move. I want you to be crazy. Since these Brazilian divisions don't seem to be extra strong, unless they've got like a lot of divisions close by. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, if you can move out, if you can't move out, that's also okay, just be careful. That's all I want, just be careful. Last couple things there. Our guys are starting to starve for supplies, but hopefully we can build things up quick enough. It's already about a third done in terms of naval dockyards, because if we can build this area up... Really? Really? Oh my goodness. 
Iranian thingamabob Madigi Madugi. Oh my goodness. And we're fighting Chileans. Blah 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 blah. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to help out there. Let's do that because we can. Uh where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are over here. Where are my tanks at? Actually, you're all the way over here. Actually, you might be able to make it. Oh, you're over. Oh, my God. Oh, holy crap. How many divisions did they spawn? <clears throat> this is going to be a, a slight problem. A slight, slight problem. I don't want to send all of you guys. Um, Let's see. Send the guys over here, too. I mean, I guess Iran's going to take some serious amount of land, but, you know, this problem will be contained eventually. This is, seems a little bit too much, though. Seriously? They have a, that's a lot of divisions of manpower. Ah, uh, this is going to be a giant mess. Hopefully the tanks can get down here quickly, though. You know what? Since you're over here, I'm going to send you guys to... That should be it. Uh, no. There you go. You guys should be... You guys should be moving around. No, you're not. You're going back. You guys are moving around. Yeah, go ahead and help, help us out there, if we, if we can. I was not expecting this. Oh, should have told me. I... Iranian Communist Authority. Yeah, I'm going to just have to annex these guys, eventually. They're pretty mixed. I don't like that. Oh, hard ships on low strength. <clears throat> go ahead and repair. Oh, my gosh. We've been getting the hell bombed out of us. I mean, yeah, they have a lot of planes. Should have... Maybe thought about that a little bit more, but. Go ahead and do that. Maybe sending you over here wasn't a great idea. But I need you guys to move out pretty quickly, honestly. Go ahead, do all this. That'd be great. That would be wonderful if you could do that. Yeah, we gotta move out of this area fast, fast, fast. Yeah, go ahead and try your best to get out of here. Break out if you can. Maybe you can't. That would not be very good. If we broke out this direction, at least that's something positive. At least that's good. Uh, yeah, maybe having you attack crazily, maybe not the best idea. I wish I could improve the infrastructure here, but apparently I cannot. Uh, let's see what else is here. Snorkels, carriers. Eh, I'll do a carrier next. You guys have ports yet? No, but you should very, very soon, actually. I'll break down this way. Uh, apparently we can't. Yeah, sending you guys over here immediately was probably not a good idea. Probably bad, 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 bad idea. Ooh, you guys have ports, actually. That's, that's actually really good. Could you potentially do this? No. The Brazilians are giving us quite a bit of a struggle here. Go. Oh, God. Yeah. Um... Do that area. Yeah, they're bombing the hell out of our ships. <clears throat> Losses? Brazil probably hasn't lost that much. 10,000? Yeah, that's not very much at all. Yeah, go... I, this was a mistake. Having you guys here, big, 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 big mistake. Um, I could send you up this way, though. Yeah. This is definitely not enough infrastructure. Um, let's see... Well, I'll send you up here then. Go ahead and leave if you can. You guys, you keep doing what you need to do. If I separate these guys off, that should help everyone pretty much. If I lose a couple of divisions, a couple of armies, you know, whatever. Things happen. Ooh, and this is an actual tank division. Good. That's good. Oh, actually. They only have two divisions here now. If you could break these guys down... Oh, that would be... That's really good then. So we have three areas for ports then. Three different port tiles. So that'd be really, really good if we can do that. Since we're adding in this other entire army. We have more immigrants just in case. Awesome. You guys need to go back home. And you guys can stop doing what you need to do. For now. Good, good, good. I need to take away their airbase somehow, some way. Good. Come on, get down here quickly. Awesome. Salvador. Oh, good, 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 good. Just hold on to that area. 
as hard as you possibly can. We're, we're making our way downtown. No. We are going to make sure that we can actually survive here. We don't have the airport yet. Where's the airport? The airport is not within my territory that I just took. Huh. Oh well. At least we have a successful invasion. Some of our shirt shirts? No, not our shirts, but our ships. We've actually done fairly okay. So, you... Go ahead and spread yourself out. And then once they're spread out, I'm going to re reunite all of Yvonne's army together. So, we do have that. Some of our guys are repairing. Actually, oh, you're already maxed out. Go ahead and max yourself out a little bit more. That'll be good. That'll be very good, actually. Lots of subs, so be it. Alright, let them attack me. Kind of bait them out, perhaps. Brazilian planes. I hope I'm killing off their air force because they're killing off a lot of my ships. Well, I guess not really. But I'd rather them not have an air force. Ooh. Some of you guys are actually really... Ah, oh, there we go. I lost a destroyer. But, oh no. What happened up here? Oh, we sunk four Canadian convoys. Good. At least we've landed in the Americas. That's a good accomplishment, at least for the, this episode. Uh, right now, we can't take in any more units down here. Oh no, the American tanks have arrived. That's not good. That's really, really not good. Uh, you guys, what are you doing? Uh, go ahead and keep moving, keep moving. Just in case, I'm going to start building some forts around here. Forts are going to be important. That'll be good. Because even if they try again and again and again and again to try to beat us up, it probably won't go that great for them. At least we hope. Actually, why are only some of you doing this? What about here? Ships on low strength. Yeah, just immediately go back. If I lose a few ships, you know, that's what these guys are there for. Oh my goodness. I've lost another destroyer and another destroyer. And there goes my... I, I ran. Which I ran is that? I lost a destroyer. God dang it. Mm, that was the bad Iran. Alright, cool. So we got rid of any sort of enemies here, which is pretty good. Go ahead and do that. Get over here, you guys. Prepare yourselves for the invasion of Portugal for now. Portugal. Japan. Uh, tell all of you guys, just go ahead and everyone repair. This is too many losses. Nice. Alright, you guys, you're pretty much set to go. Do that, and do that. And we will find a way out of here. Ah, more immigrants? Great! Take half of you... Okay, never mind. Take half of you guys, then. Attack here. Yeah, and they can't really stand up to that. Which is great for us. Eventually, I've got to find that airbase. The airport. I don't even know where it is. Oh, they don't have one. Okay. And now, we actually have two full armies within the South American continent in which we can do a great, great job. So, that'll pretty much be it for today. Uh, took us a while. I thought I was going to invade Uruguay, but I just didn't have the range for it, so, oh well. Uh, other than that, we suffered quite a few ship hits and stuff like that, but that's okay. You know, things happen. So, regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you uh, want to comment. Leave a what? Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as I will be here for the next couple of, couple of weeks here on a daily basis. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.